Welcome to the Manifesting Doll Podcast. I'm Barbara Orban from No Diet Babe. I'm a spiritual mindset coach and weight loss expert. If you are a spiritual babe wanting to up-level your life around your body, health, wellness, spirituality, law of attraction and manifestation, then this is the podcast for you. I'm here to give you the tools, teachings and strategies to manifest the body and life of your dreams. As spiritual babes, we know to focus on love as opposed to fear. So get ready to learn how to implement spiritual teachings to weight loss, wellness and your daily life coming from a place of love and abundance. This is a celebration of how we can shift our inner perception of ourselves and watch our outer selves shift. You can become the best version of yourself, and I'm here to help. So let's get started. Hey, babes. Welcome to the Manifesting Doll podcast. I'm Barbara Orban from NoDietBabe.com. And today is a very, very interesting kind of, I would say this topic is really controversial, and um, I'm very, like, somewhat... (sighs) how can I say this? Like, I guess like with anything to do with, um, with no diet babe and like my whole brand and what I represent, like weight loss manifestation, it's, I get that some people won't get it. And I know that a lot of people get triggered by it too. Like they get triggered because, um, like I'm quite slim. And then I'm talking about like certain eating issues that maybe some people might feel like, oh, I don't, I don't understand what it's like to be overweight or have weight issues or anything like that. And I'm just like, yeah, like I can get that. That's your perception. I've, I've also, I've also had that perception myself when I was seeing my, my slim psychologist. And in my head, I was saying, you don't get it. Like you're slim. You just don't get it. So I, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be talking about basically like can like health health at every size right body positivity the no dieting um movement and weight loss coexist that's what I want to talk about today so it's a really controversial type um topic and I get that so many people would disagree um and yeah the first thing is right that we have to recognize is that multiple truths can coexist okay because life like the universe is is not like there's not one truth to everything you can have two truths that are opposing and find truth in both of them so where this is coming from is because i posted about Um, like I did a post the other day about, um, like how you get to overcome your food and weight issues, right. And how it's completely possible. And I wrote within it, there was one sentence that said, and I was really critical with how I like, how I like said this, I was like, if you desire weight loss, I wrote, if you desire weight loss, then that's okay. And that was a very intentional sentence because there are people out there who are part of the like body positivity movement, health at every size and all this and that, that feel despair and depression that they feel like in order to be healthy or abide by those rules of that community, they're not allowed to want weight loss. And that actually affects their mental health, okay? Because it's like, I feel like the walls are divided. And it's really, to me, it's, it's, (laughs) it seems so silly because it's like these people are teaching about not having all or nothing thinking around food and weight, right? They're literally saying, like, it's, it's literally 
saying don't look at things with absolute thinking like all or nothing like there's black and white there's either black or there's white you know like it's like you're either body positive or you're not and it's like guys do you not see that you're practicing that very same thinking that you're trying to shift that you're looking at things in such an all or nothing way that you don't realize that there's gray areas in between that you don't have to either be on one side or the other. Like, you know, because you've got your fitness people or your like extreme obsessed, like you could even call some of them ortho, like orthorexia, even though they're like completely healthy and they're like, maybe it's a healthy obsession for them. They're presenting themselves with their fitness accounts and they're dieting. Then you've got like, the the real like let me do a detox let me convince everyone that it's healthy but it's actually extreme low calories then you've got your keto who like you know it's it's just like all these different groups and then you've got like on the extreme other hand you've got body positivity give up on dieting altogether health at every size you know, all of these things. And it's like, guys, can you not see how black and white you are? Like, we don't need to be so divided. Like, I want to be a platform that, that embraces all aspects of life without having to just chop it out and pretend that, like, food doesn't have energy or that, like, you can't want weight loss and still love your body. Like, it's, it's just, guys, it's just not, (laughs) it's like the very thinking that you're trying to shift the black and white thinking, you're, it's like manifesting in other ways, you know, because then it, it's just like, oh my God, no, like you can't want weight loss. If your body positivity, I can't believe you're talking about weight loss on the same page as you're talking about everything else. It's like not allowed. You're not allowed to talk about calories and emotional eating in the same sentence. You do not understand. And it's like, yes, I do understand. And I also think that your opinion has, like, you're valid. Yes, your anger is valid. Yes, I understand where you're coming from. I get that you're triggered. I get that. I get that you perceive this as wrong or, like, potentially, like, like not helping certain people. And it's like... But if you were to work into that trigger and invite it in and see what's actually bothering you underneath, you would find some sort of some sense of healing, honestly. Because if the word weight loss triggers you, if the word calories trigger you, triggers you, if the word diets triggers you, then there's work to do still. And I get that in order to overcome certain things, like even Abraham Hicks says, like if something's a really touchy subject, sometimes like it's obviously better to go general for a while. Take your mind off those topics so that you can gain some level of strength in your vibration before you assess those certain triggers, right? But in my opinion, avoidance you can't avoid these topics like you just you you can't avoid them and you're better off building a solid foundation having getting over the trauma that you feel when you hear the words weight loss or diet or calories getting over that trauma and I get it I've worked with coaches who made me feel like I wasn't good enough for following a diet I've worked with coaches that made me feel like I was a pathetic piece of shit because I didn't um, eat according to how I was meant to eat or like go to the gym when I was meant to go. Like I get that, but I worked through that and I healed it, right? And that's what enables me to be truly have, truly have the freedom that I feel today. And it just so happens that I'm able to keep the weight off. And I get that majority of people who go about their weight loss 
journey, gain the weight back. And I'm here to tell you that it's about your energy, that it's about what you believe inside and your vibration in relation to that. It's honestly the same and it's honestly similar to money and how you have to find the energy, like you have to tap into the frequency. You have to tap into the frequency of stability around your weight, right? Once you've lost it. And then if you don't want to lose weight, that's also fine too. It's like, it's not black and white, you guys. People can benefit from this knowledge that I teach, even if they don't want to lose weight. You know that, right? Like the stuff that I share on this podcast and in my courses, it is it helps people, even if they're not wanting to lose weight. And so also another thing is that like I've had people literally thank me because they don't, they feel so lost because they're either a dieter and they're obsessed or they're like body positivity and they completely let go around food, right? And that doesn't, neither feels good, you guys. I've been there, neither feels good. I needed to find something else that, that just brought it all in together in a healthy way. And I don't get triggered by the words weight loss. I don't get triggered by calories. I don't get triggered by any of that. I don't count calories, but I certainly don't get triggered by the understanding of them. I don't, I don't like go, oh my God, I can't have pizza for dinner because that's too high in calories. Like I'm not doing that. I literally ate half a pizza last night. It was actually quite gross though. It was way too much sauté sauce. I basically was like scraping the sauté sauce off because it was just, I, I love sauté sauce, but lately I just can't find a sauté sauce that is like really peanutty. Like they're just a little bit, I don't know, they taste weird. But anyway, I'm getting way off track. <laughs> but like, it's just, It's just so important to understand that black and white thinking is not helping anyone. Dividing and putting up these walls and not see and and believing that you have to like cut things out and you can't like you can't be a little bit more open with your thinking, like it's not helping anyone, right? This that all there's room for all of the messages right? Yeah. So the thing with, with like health at every size, and I think that the, like I'm familiar with it. Yeah. Like I'm familiar with, um, with Linda Bacon and her books. And like, I, I've looked at her stuff and I really like it. And I think, you know, with her level of education and studies and stuff like that, I get where she's coming from with her message. Like it's, it's complete. It's a great message. It's like a really, it's really important for people to have that, right? I get it. But she's also like, it's like science only goes so far, right? And when I'm looking at scientific articles, like I've got a science background myself. I'm very familiar with how scientific articles work and how to, how to, um, how to look at scientific evidence and stuff like that. And I'm telling you that it's always going to be limited. It's always going to be limited. And I have experienced something very different because I don't allow my belief system to be that limited, right? I don't allow my belief system to be so limited. And that I find benefits me. Because I slightly adjust the rules in my my brain to work in my favor, okay? And I'm not saying that this is a quick and easy process. It was very much a gradual process for me. And I'm applying the same process around um, money and relationships where I just, I'm so consciously aware of how people limit themselves. Like for relationships, for example, it doesn't take much. You just pop on any relationship type reality show and you'll find that people are constantly saying things like all the good people are taken. Like I was watching a show last night, all the people dating in New York is just screwed up. It's like, 
yeah, cool. Like you're creating that by putting that filter in your brain. So therefore your reticular activating system is constantly just looking for more of that. Yeah, cool. That's all you're going to get. Of course, that's going to become the truth. And then lots of other people have that truth too. Then you all come together and say, this is the truth. And you're like, yeah, it must be cool. This is the truth. And it's like, no, it's not. Because there will be one person, like not everybody is single (laughs) in New York, right? (laughs) Because yeah, this is on Netflix, right? It was like first dates or something I was watching. Because I'm just really interested with like the belief systems around relationships and the belief systems around money and stuff like that. And weight, of course. (laughs) But it's like, yeah, like their reticular activating system is just like, yeah, this is the truth. Yet there's happily married people in New York. Like, of course there is. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? That met there. And it's just interesting because they're just like creating this like, And I do this too, yeah? I'm the same and that's why I'm working through it. That's why I'm really becoming conscious of the way we limit ourselves, the way that we create our reality, the way that we form our truths, okay? And the problem with some of these body positivity is I feel that they really get stuck in their truth of having to be stuck at a certain weight. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that people need to want something. I'm here for those that have an aching desire and feel powerless because they want to be body positive, but don't know any other way, okay? And that's that's really important for people to get that because you don't have to want to lose weight, You don't have to want anything. You are your own person. You get to decide what the fuck you want. (laughs) And that's been so clear in every aspect of who I am as a person is I love it when people embrace who they are. That I'm, I'm so like, I'm one of those people that absolutely love it when people own who they are and they just, I just admire that so freaking much. I love, like, I love that shit. I love it, okay? And I love all types of bodies. And I'm not looking at people thinking, you should want to lose weight. No, I look at people and tap into their energies and I can feel that some of them still have poor relationship to food, poor relationship to their bodies, right? Right? So I'm not saying anyone's perfect by all means. I'm not perfect, but I do know that I have something to share. I have ways to help people, have solutions, okay? Nobody's perfect or nobody like, I'm, I say this to clients sometimes, like I'm not God. <laughs> so when people come at me with their truths like they're freaking God, it's like, No, because I get like your anger is valid. Your argument is valid, but my argument is valid too. You know what I mean? So the thing that arcs me up though about health at every size that I think I want to just kind of get out there is that there's a misunderstanding with the set point because like there's this idea that Everybody has a natural weight and a set point. But like the way that I teach people to lose weight, I know how to outsmart that system, right? How do you think I lost 15 kilos and I've kept it off for five years and I don't, I don't have to like restrict myself. I don't count calories, but I have an awareness of the fact that I consume enough calories like for the average person you know what I'm saying like what I mean by this is you know how sometimes you see like the average in the average en- energy intake for an adult hu- human is like 2,000 calories or whatever or 8,600 kilojoules or whatever you'll see those messages everywhere and I look at them and I just think 
like I would consume that if not more you know what I mean like not every day like because I have to say like I'm not always like a super active person and I just don't think my body needs too much but like I I know like I know that there are obese people out there who who consume less than a thousand calories and that's sad that's really sad because they need to be eating more they need to be eating much much more and if we don't educate people on energy intake and calories and the importance of it I know so many women who chronically under eat and it's causing this their bodies they're going to then health practitioners and alternative health practitioners naturopaths doctors Chinese doctors whatever 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 saying I've got adrenal issues I've got adrenal issues I've got adrenal issues or I've got this issue I've got that issue but nobody's telling them that they're they're under consuming because they don't look like they're under consuming because they're telling people that they want to lose weight. Do you get what I'm saying? Like there needs to be something else than just all or nothing. There's only like diets are bad, calories are bad, body positivity. There needs to be something else out there. Like that's what I'm here to provide you with the message. Yeah, that's why I'm here. That's why God put me here to teach you this stuff. Because it's not helping to completely shut that world out and not have an education or an understanding of it. And the fact that the set point or whatever or whatever your ideal weight is, right, is is up is kind of up to you provided that you're not introducing resistance and negative emotion around that because it's about your mental health right it's always about your mental health so what's the point of being body positive if you have a built-up resistance and negative emotion with and feel powerless to the fact that you have to give up on any hope of losing weight like if you really want it. Do you get what I mean? But then on the other hand, for those people, I do tell them that if the way you change is to know where your Jeep, if you've got a GPS and it's putting in your destination, you can't get to where you want to be without putting in where you are now. And you can't be like, oh, Oh, I just, I just want to, like, I want to be in LA right now. Like I'm in Melbourne, but I need to be in LA right now. It's like, no, honey, like you've got to accept the fact that you've got to hop on a plane and go there, but you'll get there. And it's about the negative emotion associated with that of, I don't want to be where I am. I'm not worthy where I am. I can't, I can't go on where I am. People don't like me where I am. People don't accept me where I am. I don't have confidence where I am. I can't get a relationship where I am. Like, All of that is the stuff. It's the self-worth being in the weight, right? It's not focusing on other aspects of yourself, okay? So that that's the thing. And I think my biggest, my biggest thing is just like that the set point I think is, is really misunderstood. I think that the body's set point system and how that works is extremely misunderstood and I know I know I know I know I know the frequency of how to how to be out of that like I know this shit I've applied it in my life I continue to understand the energy of it I continue to understand and I'm extremely conscious of what goes on in my head and how I'm able to understand if the frequency wants to change or tell this story that if I eat pizza or whatever that that I that I have to gain weight or something like this kind of stuff doesn't really show up for me anymore but I understand what it takes to shift that people don't understand manifestation and the law of attraction and the power of this they're still 
limited with science. They're not expanding beyond that into like quantum physics, right? And not everyone's going to understand this shit. Some people are going to be like, this, this bitch is cray, you know, like <laughs> she's crazy. And yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat scared of that sometimes. Like I'm, I'm scared of doing this in, in a lot of ways, but I have to make my desire to help people bigger than that. I have to, I have to work on my own mentality and build up a resilience around this because I need to be here for you. I'm here for you. You know, the people that need me to be, be strong enough to share this message, you know, and that's okay. Like I have my own shit to work through around that. And I just trust that I'm going to be okay. Like that I'm going to, I am going to be okay. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I want to be here for you. Like I want to help you. I want you to know that you don't have to feel powerless. You don't have to choose between one or the other. You just simply get to have what you want. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, Understand the words that I'm presenting with you, the truth that I want you to see. You don't have to choose one or the other. You simply get to make up the rules and have what you desire. Yeah? You simply work with your mind and body, not against it. Become your own best friend. Be the parent for your inner child right? Support your desires, okay? In such a way where you accept yourself no matter what. Unconditional love for yourself is something that we all need to practice day in and day out, okay? So yeah, it's just, I hope that I hope that I do like trigger certain people in a good way, like that that I'm challenging people to perhaps work on their trauma in certain areas um, so that they can have true freedom rather than live in a world where they have to guard themselves. Because when we put up walls or guard ourselves, oftentimes we manifest that reality where we do have to guard ourselves and it's like us versus them type situation. And then we're constantly in the defense mode, which doesn't feel, it's not true joy. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the way that I want to live is, is understanding the multiple truths of the world and that Opposing truths can coexist and people get to be valid in their arguments and that's okay, you know, and just be open to that, right? Be open and then to not have to react and be hurt and be like us versus them and they're bad and wrong and blah, blah, blah. Like I'm not (laughs) obviously not perfect at this, Um, but I just really want to yeah, put this message out there and just say that there's more to it. There's more to it. There's more to it. There's so much more to it. And that's pretty much it. (laughs) So anyway, you guys, I currently have a one-on-one coaching spot available. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you're wanting to work with me one-on-one I'm really excited about one-on-one work. I just, you get to be in my energy. You know what I mean? It's so powerful to be in that energy and to shift what it is that you want. Because I know that if my message resonates with you, like you're like, yes, 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 this is for me. Then yeah, I can change your life around manifestation. (laughs) Trust me, like Body and life is meant to be enjoyed. There's no limits. There's no limits. 
You don't need to be, feel like you're not allowed to have desires. You're not allowed to want something because it's not okay for you. And the whole set point stuff, I think it's not bullshit. Like it's definitely valid. It's real. Like it's real. But you just have to know how to outsmart the body. Like it's a frequency thing. It's a belief system thing. It's it's understanding the possibilities and, and going there in your mind and manifesting it in reality. It's just a frequency, honestly. Tune into it. You'll know what I mean. Because <laughs> the people that like work with me in close cro- proximity and get those results, um, yeah. It's definitely a practice and in the beginning you have to really tweak it and shift back in because you'll shift back out. That's the thing with with this type of work, with manifestation. However many times you shift out, you just shift back in. That's You keep going. You don't give up. That's what true manifestation is. It's subconscious. You have to recognize that you've got to keep that shit in check. Anyway, um, email hello at nodietbabe.com if you're wanting more information about one-on-one coaching. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you loved this episode, I'd love for you to leave me an iTunes review. Don't forget to follow this podcast for more uplifting teachings to come. For more tips, inspiration, and teachings, come follow me on Instagram at NoDietBabe or check out my website, NoDietBabe.com. Until I see you next time, babes, lots of love.